Okay, we made it today, this morning. Let's start jogging in place. Jogging in place, jogging in place. Run with the puppers. It's gonna be a fun day. Upper body is always fun. Hope y'all's booties are okay after the leg day. All right, let's do a light jumping jack. Just throw your arms up, loosen up the shoulders, warming up the knees and the ankles, and back to the jog in place. Let's go hands out in front, get our knees up a little bit higher. And now we're gonna do some wacky high knees. We're gonna go out to the side a little bit. Kind of opening up our hips and stretching. And we're gonna do some warm up squats. It is not a lower body day, but squats help get the heart rate up and get blood flowing throughout the body. Focus on breathing right now, breathing in. One more. All right, let's get arms out, fingers up, big circles backwards. Because we're going to be stabilizing with our shoulders a lot today. Fingers down, forward. We're going to be using our triceps, our core, which is including your chest and your abs. And get your arm across your chest, stretch it. And other side. To get through this workout today, when you do, because you will, to go behind the head and grab the elbow, you will not need to do anything extra for the day. Let it go. Unless you really wanted to. This should be sufficient for the day. Big stretch out, good, all right. Let's roll our neck. We're gonna go from the side to the front, side to the front. <clears throat> Get those morning or work stretches in. And a little bit for the back, we're gonna open our legs wide, hands down the middle, and just swing side to side. Hamstrings should be tight. Mine felt exceptionally tight this morning. I felt them as soon as I got up. I don't know why. Side to side, now down the middle, I'm just kind of pulse down. Just a little bounce. And we're standing up, so let's take care of our wrists, because some of us have wrist problems when we're doing push-ups and things like that. I'm not trying to give anything away, what we're doing today. So we have our hands together, and we're doing circles. And we're changing direction. Good, both another direction again, just go back. All right, so we're gonna get started. Today's gonna be the last uh, in the month to do 30 seconds of work. So we're going to enjoy this 30 seconds. We're gonna start with, so I'm gonna show you first. We are in a high plank position, so we're already stabilizing. High plank is means hands are underneath your shoulders, feet are kind of wide apart. We're gonna shoulder tap, do a plank jack. So we jump our feet in, jump our feet out, and then we go again. Touch, touch, jump in, jump out. We're doing that for 30 seconds. Carefully grab my timer. Okay. Ready, let's get down in position. Let's get into that high plank position. And we go, let's go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, jump in, jump out. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. More than halfway through. Got six seconds. Tap, tap, 
jump in, jump out, and let's stand up. Pretty good. Big stretch up, little mountain pose for you. Just big stretch. Oh, that was good. Just easing into it. <laughs> All right. Next, we're gonna go for the the big one. We're gonna start off like this. Burpee. Hands down the floor. Jump out. Jump in. And stand up. Ready. Let's go. Stand up. Hands get a good placement right underneath your shoulders. So you should be kind of wide with your hands because your hands become your legs for a second when you jump back. So you want a good base with those hands. Keep going. Three, two, one. Let me get that last one in, okay. <sighs> Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Deep breath, so pay close attention on this one. This one's a little complex because we're doing body weight. You gotta be creative. So we're gonna be in the high plank position again. So your feet are kind of wide. Now watch me, we're gonna do a fist with our hand, kind of like we're holding a dumbbell. We're doing a row, we kick back, and we bring our hand back down to the floor. And then we're gonna do that on the other side. So we're alternating, we go row, kick back, and down. Row, kick back, and down. Keep your fist tight, so that when you kick back, you're actually flexing the tricep, and you'll notice it's gonna get hot. It'll get warm. Ready, high plank position. Let's go, we go row, kick back, and setting the imaginary dumbbell down. Row, kick back, down. Row, kick back, down. Row, kick back, down. Row. Make sure you have a tight fist right now. If you do, when you extend your arm for this kickback, you should feel your triceps getting hot. One more. Good, so I'm gonna get to that again. We should be able to go a little bit quicker. Let's breathe. All right, let's get back to some simple stuff. Simple and effective. All right, so we're on our knees. For those of you that can do the advanced version of push-ups, you can do regular push-ups, which I'll be doing up here on my toes. But if you wanna be on your knees, you can do that too. Hands are in a standard position, so that means about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. And what we're gonna do is count for three seconds down, one second up, three seconds down, one second up. I'll count out loud to help keep y'all in check. So let's get in push-up position. And let's go, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, big exhale when you push, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, last one, one, two, three, one, Good job, Let's stay here on the floor. Should be feeling good, not too bad. Let's get on our back. We're gonna tuck our hands, make it a little diamond, find a good spot underneath the small of your back. We're gonna throw in some strict core movement here so we don't burn out our shoulders too much. Our chin is coming up into our chest, so you're kind of sitting up. Your legs are gonna be out and we're doing scissors. So we're crisscrossing for 30 seconds. Crisscrossing, ready, let's go. Keeping your chin into your chest so it can help keep your back rounded so you're not pulling on your back muscles. And it also gets your abs tight. Just crisscross. Ooh, I'm hot. Feeling hot. Four. Come on. 
three, two, one. Good, and for the last one of the series. I know, so like a lot. This is how we get stronger, upper body strong. We are on a, a low plank position. We're doing our get ups. And let's pay attention to this. So when you get up, you come up on your left hand, come up on your right, go back down on your left, back down on your right, then come up on your right. So I want you to alternate. In this moment, alternate between coming up with your left and coming up with your right. Try to remember that when you're in the moment doing it, you may forget, it's okay, but just try to balance out your strength there. All right, let's get set. And let's go. You can do this on your knees as well. Or on your toes for that standard form. Just want to go kind of fast. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Going up on my right, coming down on my right, going up on my left, coming down on my left. And done. Okay. Break time. Water. I'm going to go grab water. I'm coming off screen. If you're watching the recording of this, you can fast forward or take a water break in a little bit. Man, it's like the heater's on. I know it's not. It's just me. Okay. I'm going to go through all of that. I'm going to go a little bit harder this time. I'm going to put a little extra. A little extra oomph into it. Mm hmm. All right, it's a good little whistle wedding action. All right, guys. So we're gonna to try to go through it kind of quick. Let me set that timer, set that timer. We got 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rest. Should go by quick. We're starting with the shoulder tap, plank jacks, jacks, feet are going in and out. On your mark, get set, let's get down, let's get down, let's go. Ready, go, tap, tap. Try to go faster than the first time. Two, two, tap, tap, in and out, tap, tap, in and out. And right now, don't let your stomach just fall down. Pull it in, like it's a booby trap underneath. Oh. Sorry. Oh, and done. Good job. Okay. <laughs> All right, burpees next. Burpees, if you want to intensify this, you add that push up when you come down. You can if you want to. All right, ready? Let's go. Burpee, hands down, jump, stand up. Hands down, stand up. Let's go. Whew, going all over the place. Five seconds. Let's go. Do your best. One more. Ah, easy. Easy. The more you do burpees, the easier it becomes. Ooh, all right. Short rest in between. We're doing that high plank. Row, kick back. Row, kick back. Ready? I know your heart's pumping. Let's keep going. Up. Let's go, row, kick back, switch, row, kick back. Keep that fist in your hand. Uh, holding an imaginary dumbbell. Uh, your core is stabilized. 
stomach is in. As I was saying before my computer fell over, is that you want to pull your belly button into your spine. Don't let, just let your stomach hang there. And one more. Good. We're staying down here for those push-ups. Three seconds down, one second exploding. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Push up position. Let's go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. If you start getting fatigued, do it on your knees. And do your best. One, two, three, one. There's no better way to work on your upper body strength functionally than push up. And done. All right, we're on our back. I'm gonna blast through this. We got our scissors. We're checking those hands in. Ready? Let's go. Crisscross those legs. You're looking down through your legs, watching them crisscross. Controlling your breathing. Do not hold your breath. It's gonna make the last exercise harder if you're holding your breath here. We got 10 seconds. It's gonna be a good day today. We're like warriors who wake up in the morning to do this. And relax. Deep breath, you're gonna need it. We got those plank get-ups. If you need more rest, rest a little bit or rest in between. You could take a break and then jump back into it. Ready, we're going in three, two, one. Plank position, up, let's go. There you go, I forgot to switch. Left, right. Left, right. Stomach is tight. Like if somebody was coming to kick me in the stomach, I'd be ready to take it. You know, pull it in. And done. Uh, all right, again, one more water break. Then we're gonna go straight to some core focus. So we're gonna get this really hot. Let's get a little sip of water. Little teacup ASMR. Can you hear that guy? It's already Thursday. It's gonna be a good day. Hey, okay. Deep breath. Let's get to our back. Good spot, you can see me. All right. Okay, we're on our back. Let's get started. So this is what we're gonna do. Legs are gonna be up 90 degrees. Okay. Head is up off the ground. We're going to reach. My left arm is going outside of my right leg. Okay, so my left arm is going across my body and I'm extending my left leg. I'm coming back to the center. Right arm to the left leg and back. Left arm to the right leg and back. Extending the opposite side. If you get if that's too complicated for you, then just get some slow bicycles in. But we want to do something a little bit more challenging. So let's keep those legs up. And let's go. So we go left arm, right leg. My left leg extends. Right arm to the left side, right leg extends. So I'm crossing my body and dropping one leg. Keeping my head up this whole time. Should be feeling it now. If you feel like you can't get this down, then just get some slow bicycles. All right, we're there. 
Let's get her set up. Butterfly crunches. Butterfly crunches, we're sitting on our butt. We'll start by holding on your legs. So you lean back, legs are out. So your legs will be coming in and out together and you're gonna flap your wings like a butterfly. There might be moments where you can't bury her anymore and you can hold yourself and then come back into it. Ready, let's go, leaning back, arms out, let's go. Something in my body is pop, popping. Hope y'all can't hear that. An advanced thing to do is to roll back, come up, and butterfly crunch. So I'm gonna do that one here. Swing back, up, crunch, and break. Oh, it's a tough one. You gotta really have a strong core there to hold up. All right, for this third core movement, we're back onto that low plank position. And we are dropping our hips side to side. So we got our feet together. We're kind of pivoting on our toes. Pivot on your toes, drop your butt to the side. Up and over. You kind of want to make an arc. An arch, or arc, no, an arc. Ready? Let's go, arc over, boom, touch your butt to the side. I'm kind of putting the thigh meat on the ground, not so much the butt. Thigh meat goes to the ground and the hip. Again, pulling in your stomach. There are spikes on the ground. The floor is lava. Do not let your stomach hang to the floor. Pull it in. Three, two, one. All right. So let's go back to our back. Get a good long stretch out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. We go back to the top. Let's do bicycles this time. I like that one maybe. A little too complicated for everybody. So let's get our legs up 90 degrees. Fingertips on our head. We go left elbow to right knee. Extend the opposite leg. Ready, set. Let's go, we're going nice and easy. Control, twist. I want you to look side to side. That's how we get those love handles. Those obliques, get them on fire. Melt them away. We wanna increase that thermal energy, that heat this morning while well, we're fasted, most of us. I don't think you've eaten anything. We're gonna get that heat in the spots that we really want to trim down. And done. Oh, that was a good one. All right, to those butterfly crunches. Let's try, try it this way, guys. You're here, I want you to fall back. So you're rolling back, your legs go up in the air. Use that momentum to swing you up and then crunch at the top, okay? So we're swinging back, legs go up in the air. Swinging up into a seated position and get that crunch. Let's go. We go back, up and crunch. Back, up and crunch. Swing back. So your back becomes a rocker. Halfway through. And then you close that with your hands, your butterfly wings. Whew. Feeling it. Let's go. One more, one more. Back and crunch. Good job. Oh, yes. We got those planks. Side to side booty drops. Ready, plank position. And let's go. Pivot on your toes. There's spikes on the floor. Don't drop your stomach. Keeping it up inside your body, pulling it into your spine, belly button into the spine. Let's go. After all that, your abs should be activated now. This is a perfect finisher. Let's go. Bring that butt up in the air. Let's go. One more. 
And uh, all right, we're gonna finish up the little bonus super set here. I'm gonna get a quick sip of water. We're gonna do two things really quickly. We're gonna get some simple crunches in and then finish with the plank, that's it. Simple crunches and a plank. So our crunches, I want our legs crossed in the air 90 degrees, fingertips on your head, 30 seconds of crunches, as many as you can. Ready? Let's go. Exhaling at the top. You want that contraction in the core. So we're gonna get the air out. At the peak. Your eyes should be up on your ceiling. Forehead. Imagine you're trying to touch it to the top. Let's go, let's go. Three. Two, one, there you go. Got about a crunch every second. All right, and this last bonus core movement, we're just gonna hold a plank, a low plank. We're just gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Let's do it together. Let's turn over, take a deep breath. Let your mind go somewhere else. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and let's go. I'm gonna think about what I want for lunch today. And hold it. Hold it. You should be tucking your pelvis like you're squeezing your glutes. So squeeze your glutes gently, not excessively. Gently pull your glutes in. That's going to help tuck your pelvis and activate your lower core. And down. All right, we're already down here. Let's go into a child's pose. Get our arms straight, drop your head down, and push your way, your butt, back into your heels. And breathe. Let's go into a cobra stretch. So our hands are in the ground. We're pushing our hips forward, stretching up. Don't shrug, get your head out of your shoulders. You can do this on your elbows too if this cobra is too much on the back. All right, we're going to all fours. We're going to pass our hand across our chest and lay our head down. So we're looking sideways. Make sure to hold that. I'll do something on the screen. Okay, let's do the other side. So pull your hand out. And then you pass your hand across your chest. Lay on it the opposite way. Try to keep your palm up. Your palm should be up, your fingertips up, facing the ceiling. And come back to all fours. We're gonna roll up. We're on our knees. Let's get our arm very, very tight. Tuck that other arm over your shoulder, underneath your chin. Not too bad. Other side, good little hit in the morning. Got the other side here and that same arm, bring it up and over behind the head. Grab that elbow, pull it in really tight. Try to keep your head straight. Don't get it stuck with your arm. Really get your arm behind your head. Let it go, other side. Mm-hmm. Mm, let it go. Oh, fingertips over your head. Gently pull to the side. Let it go to the other side. Gently, gently, gently. Stand up. Let's get a big mountain pose. So hands are by our side. Big stretch out, fingers together, turn them up, press out. Just imagine your spine stretching out long and then big stretch out, one more time. Big stretch up, 
fingers together, press, even look up and let it go. Thank you guys for waking up with me. I know it's tough <laughs> and you don't know what's gonna happen. And those of you watching, good job today. Have a good day, everybody. Love your doggies for me. Bye. See you soon.